President Tekufuado has expressed confidence in programs and policies initiated by his government since assumption of office to put the country on a path of fiscal consolidation, debt sustainability and growth. Speaking at the 2017 World Bank's Development Finance Forum in Accra, he noted that maintaining a stable microeconomic environment in the context of a growing economy is fundamental to attract private sector investment into the country. President Kufad noted that as a result of the difficult economic situation his government inherited, it has set a long-term agenda for a Ghana beyond aid, which requires far-reaching reforms in economic and political governance, focus on productive sectors and improving the business environment in the country. Ghana, he said, is open for business and has taken it upon herself to build a business-friendly economy that will enable her get to the stage where the opportunities available in the country will help her build an optimistic, self-confident and prosperous nation. This is why since assuming office, my government has established a macroeconomic framework with policies that seek to restore fiscal discipline and macroeconomic stability. We have put in place measures to reduce the fiscal deficit bequeathed to us from 9% in 2016 to 6.5% this year. Government has created fiscal space by capping earmarked funds to 25% of government revenues and realigning expenditures to government priorities. He stressed on the need for risk reallocation instruments, including guarantees and insurance from the multilateral development banks to be deployed to trigger additional investments in the country. For example, a 700 million United States dollar World Bank Group as guarantee enabled us to mobilize 7.9 billion United States dollars of private investment. These are the kind of deals that should happen more often in Africa as development finance institutions partner with private capital. President Ekufandu called on multilateral financing institutions, including the World Bank Group and the African Development Bank, to help lower the transactional costs for public and private sectors to enter into partnerships and alliances. Adele Kwesi Mashtub reporting for Metro News.